Hey, this is Corey Clement of the Philadelphia Eagles Super Bowl champions, and you're watching Mutt Force with director and Trump monkey Stay Frosty and Fly Eagles Fly. What's up, guys? It's the director and the trumpet monkey. Hi. Trump monkey, the, the, the mud community is in a bit of an influx right now. What do you think's going on? Uh, dude, you know what? You know what, director? Um, right now, the Madden community is Zoolander after he just lost that award ceremony to Hansel. But you know what we are, director? What? We're, we're the orange mocha frappuccinos. That's what we are, director. Orange mocha frappuccino! That's what we are, trumpet monkey. You know, it's it's, true. It's, it's, people kind of you know, fly off the rails a little bit, but I think we're here to bring some optimism back and uh, hopefully bring some hype back as well, because there's more Boy, to come. Guys. I mean, let's call let's call a spade a spade though. This is the this is the worst start to a promo. Yeah, this year, anyway, it, a victim of their own is. success, right? Yeah. Wait, wait. What do you mean? Wait a second. Wait, I thought. I thought you were doing good cop, bad cop. Okay, I'll, I'll be, I'll wait, be, wait. I'll be bad cop. You be good cop. I'm being bad cop. We're gonna do good cop, bad cop. Okay. I'm gonna rip you apart. How did you cover your losses up? Huh? What drug cartel are you working with now? Okay, well, well I'll, I'll talk to you. You're reasonable. No, no. Look at me. Yeah. Yeah. You want to talk to me? What are you doing? I'm going to make you eat a plate of human shit. Yeah. You get away from me. Yeah. 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 Okay, 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 okay. I'll be good cop. I'll be good cop. You be bad cop. I think that's fair. Yeah. I think that's fair. We, okay, Trump and Monkey. We, 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 we do have a lot to go over today. And uh, with some exciting right, stuff up. as well. <laughs> 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 just get into shut it. Just, just get it on. We Just get it on with, Trump Monkey. What are we going to have today in this episode of Mud Force? God damn it. Tonight on Mud Force with director and Trumpet Monkey, we break down the Zero Chill promo. And we show you the light. Where are the ghosts of Christmas past? I guarantee you. Guarantee you. Friday of next week, everybody, everybody is going to want to make a baby with the Zero Chill promo. We will show you the light today. I do promise that. There's big things coming. There's big things coming. So, so the grounds on that, guys, the, the, the Zero Chill promo did launch this weekend, and it, it, it was having a, a bit of an up-and-down reception from the community, but we think there is more to come. But before we get into all that stuff, Trump and Monkey, we, 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 we want to give our viewers a shout-out, and then we're going to get into the saucy juiciness of what's to come and what's in here in the week. And we didn't even we didn't even mention, we've got some custom card art, too, ladies and gentlemen, as tradition on Mutt Force. Here we go. Let's go to our viewer transmission this week. <laughs> All right, first submission, Trump Monkey coming in from Haji. Haji, how are you, mate? Haji. Don't kick the Dion. Hmm. You don't hmm, say. I wonder. I wonder what this could be. Hmm. I wonder. Man, he kicked the Dion. I mean, obviously, it's Haji and the Bears. The Bears uniform. Haji, longtime Bears fan. Oh! Uh, oh! Double spin. Got and one then, guy. Well, he's got to be there. Oh, <laughs> the juke. And he might what? go all the way. Touchdown. Touchdown, the Bears. You know, we've seen this a million times. It's almost like redundant to show Deion Sanders clips, but the jukiness, the spinniness, and the extra little juke at the end on top, I think it's worth a mud force. How many, for how many kick returns is brought? This is why I squip kick to the fullback, man. Like, seriously. <laughs> just, uh, a, little yeah. bit, uh, a little bit of advice from the director, guys. If you're running a theme team, you have no option other than to squib kick or sky kick to the fullback, okay? Because if you try and uh, bring your special teams, your crappy silver players to stop Dion, it's yeah. not going to happen. It's not. It's not. Uh, honorary mentioned there to Rax in there with the, with the, Thank you, the sir. truck. You did not. You did not make the cut this week. <laughs> We're gonna take this extra time out of Mud Force to tell you you did not make the you cut. You did not make. But we the do cut. love you. We do. Can what we just show this from the director real quick, though, guys? I mean, oh I, it's not God. on the slate. You, 
Are but you hijacking? Are we're you we're, we're hijacking a little bit. The director's 97 overall, Keenan Allen, looking really saucy. We'll get more let's, to that here in a let, minute. Let's, let's just end, director. Nobody cares. Nobody cares at all whatsoever about your Keenan Allen. Uh, seriously, come on. Come on, man. Hide in the darkness Decoy, and then Decoy destroy the you all gun. without even a fleeting notice. To, to quote the great gut box, man. Theme right. teams are awesome. Theme um, teams are awesome. Where is this other clip, Trumpet Monkey? It's coming. It's coming. There's so much. <laughs> uh, uh, Doc. Uh, there Doc. It is. There it is. Here yeah, it is. From, all the way from New Zealand. Boo. Boo. Fully sick, bro. You it, bro. Boo, 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 boo. I just need to say, uh, like, weekend league last second clutch Panthers theme. Oh, I love me some theme oh, team clips, drum. Oh, this theme is gonna be a good one. I got a couple of wins with the Raider theme team on stream this week as well. It's a nice. It's not. This is this is super clutch. Seventeen seconds left. First and ten. Down by five. Play action and oh, diving, diving catch. Is that a diving high point as well? That is difficult to execute. Holy crap. Olsen getting it. Is that Olsen? That was Greg Olsen, the tight end the diving Olsen catch in the back of the there. end zone. Beautiful. You know what? A beginning of Mutt 2, Greg Olsen, by far my favorite uh, tight end in the game. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, and... I didn't skip all the spoilers. Okay, here he comes. The last go, one right here, here guys, here coming in. 250,000 coins. For completing Congratulations. 1,500 solos. Yeah. 1,500 solos. Hammer right here. There was another. There's another honorary mention. I got tweeted out with two screenshots of the of the uh, the quarter of a million being done. This is my slow clap. The video isn't. <laughs> the video isn't like failing to buffer. I'm just. I don't know why I'm clapping so slowly. Now I can't stop. I need to stop. I, 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 Make I, it I, stop. I, I don't know what to do with my hands, Trump. Oh. Well, guys, if you want a chance to be on Mud Force next week, go ahead and upload your clip or uh, screenshot even to Twitter and tag either or both me and Trump. Hashtag. Hashtag, hashtag Mud Force. Mud Force. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I think it's about time that we get into our weekly content because there's a lot to go over with the new promo and all that. Wow. So let's get into our weekly content. All right, so we're going to do it a little bit different this week. Uh, Mutt, uh, Mutt Head has decided to be a little poo-poo head. So we're just going to yeah. scroll over the names here, go over we and give our, give our thoughts. We we love Mudhead. Just want to throw that out there. But oh, yeah, the site has been really weird the last 24 hours. But yeah, um, remember, no uh, no veterans, heavyweights, or flashbacks this week. Okay. We still need to know what they're bringing in for that. But I think it's going to – I think – what well, we, we, we're going to get to that. I'm I'm trying to blow the load too soon here, John Monkey. We're going to get to that in just a minute. We've got the Team of the Week stuff to go over first. And they did something kind of cool this week in adding a limited. So let's oh, go yeah. over the defensive guys here first. Alec Ogletree, we're going to have to hover over these guys Make it happen it's here. Okay. Alc Ogletree, what do you think, Trouble Monkey? Uh, man, uh, uh, solid-ish, I guess. Um, I personally wouldn't be necessarily breaking the bank for this one myself, but obviously I know Lunagod runs a lot of Giants on his team. This Ogletree card is going to be dope on that team. Um Another. This is this is the nature of the team of the week promos. It's hit and miss every single week. There's some cards you love and others that you just scratch your head and go, why, why, why are they doing it? Uh, I'm okay with with uh, passing on Ogletree. There's another controversial middle linebacker in the zero chill promo that we'll talk about. Yeah. Um. Uh. But this one, I'm I'm okay with. I I I think. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with passing. You know what it's come to, John? I think that it, now owning two teams, we got the theme team, the Chargers theme team, and the regular God squad. I'm excited for team of the week when the Chargers win, which has been very <laughs> frequent this season. But if the Chargers win, that's when I get stoked because these cards, especially a guy like an Alec Ogletree, look great on yeah. a theme team. For the general populace of Mutt, probably not something anything special. Yeah. But yeah, just theme teams. Keep your theme eye out for Alec are, Ogletree. I, I want to go on record as saying this, though. For clarity, okay, clarity. Um, theme teams are important, and people mm -hmm. are loving the theme teams. So you cannot, you cannot ignore them. Uh, they're they are super important. So that's why I'm not completely poo pooing that card. I'm just saying it's not for me. You want to know a fun fact though? I I find myself as of late using my theme team more than my God Squad. Is that weird? I just have more that fun with weird. them. It's yeah. way more fun. It's like a sense of accomplishment as well. You feel like you're suiting up and, and heading out there uh, with with a absolutely handicap. 
but um, but then like even more gratifying when you win. You know, it's awesome. Yeah, you you rarely get any hate messages after a yeah. win too. They're like, bro, I love yeah. your I love your Charger squad. Yeah, DG on the win there, bro. All right, next up, our team of the week offensive hero, Dak Prescott. 92 overall quarterback for the Cowboys. What do you see in this card? I see um, uh, Deshaun Watson. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) um, Look, man, I think they did him dirty on the speed. Uh, And also... Also, the deep accuracy, because he's actually been throwing really, really well. You could argue that that his short and medium game has kind of been been really, really solid, and his wide receivers have been making plays. But look, man, I know for Hammer, who we just saw um, his quarter of a million, 1,500 solo achievement, um, his theme team with the Cowboys and other theme teams are loving it as well, and they really wanted a Dak, so I'm kind of happy for them. Uh, but if I could just get you to hover down, I want to show you the unsung hero. Before we go to the, the boss and the limited, hover down to Jared Cook card there. We don't normally show the 87s, but this right here, this right here is a sneaky unsung hero that you can pick up for about 30K, guys, right there. And I tell you what, on my Raiders theme team, this cat right here is 90 speed and 94 jump on a six foot five card with really amazing stats. And this is why the team of the week is great for the theme teams. I don't know what they're going to do for the theme teams after the playoffs promo. Big, big question. I, I, I hope they've got the, the answer. I have some ideas myself as well. We'll address it if and when the time comes. But Jared Cook, really solid card as well, guys. Yeah, really before solid. we move on from this card, Trump, I was actually looking at it um, as one of the standouts for this week because it reminds me a lot of my Kellen Winslow, who's a 95 overall on my team. Yeah. 6'5", yeah. 86 speed, which is decent, on a, on a, obviously on the Raiders team team, a lot better. This is a really yeah. solid card. The route running, not terribly good, but I think he makes up for it in height and speed. So I think that's a really good card. Uh, next up, let's go ahead and do the boss, since we do have a limited to go over as well. Yeah, yeah. Keenan Allen, you guys there saw you in the hijacking <laughs> of the, uh, the viewer transmissions, 94 overall boss, Keenan Allen. Everyone's laughing. I can hear it all the way here in my studio. I know you guys are laughing, but on a Chargers theme team, this is the unsung hero that we have been praying for. The, not the hero we deserve, Trump you Muggie, but the hero it, we man. need. The hero we need. The hero we need. That's we did it. Predict it. We did predict. Yeah, so that, that win, and I have to draw, because this is the first episode of Month 4 since, that win, Trumpet Monkey, was so huge for the Chargers the on Sunday, <laughs> beating the Steelers. At one of the best Sunday night games, period, that I've seen this year. And Keenan Allen, a big reason for that, that weird touchdown that he got off of the oh, almost the interception. Reflexes? That is the why reflex? Keenan Allen's got a card. That was a terrible throw from Rivers. It was. And Keenan it was Allen but the awareness, snaps, the awareness of Keenan victory. Allen bringing that in. He snaps victory for the jaws of defeat. Um, look, man, but there's some really epic stats on this card, let's be honest. Yeah. Um, and and well-deserved. Why do they keep giving him such bun speed, though, man? That I don't understand. He's not that slow. I think He's if I were boxed. to go do the research... Other than Kelvin Benjamin, this guy's got to have the worst speed out of the known wide receiver universe. 88 speed on a 94 card is pretty bad. I'm going to say this right now. After I acquire Coach Madden, he will have 94 speed on my squad, which is awesome. very, very good for a Chargers theme team. Awesome. Now we can awesome. finally throw deep. Keenan Allen can make some plays. But on top then, of that, what I've noticed with Keenan Allen, the hands are absolutely spectacular. Again, the, the stats read it. He's he's got he's got the stats yeah. on top of it to say okay he's gonna have good hands but there's something in the code about Keenan Allen that says I have crappy speed so I'm gonna make up for it with Larry Fitzgerald style hands not a bad guy damn card. straight and then show the limited here this was actually really cool and a big surprise um, people because I mean obviously he had a pick six to win the game or to close out the game they were probably gonna win anyway but um, man this is a middle linebacker cod. It was a Holy very crap. long pick six as well, too. Yeah. That play stood out for the week. And, uh, <laughs> Bobby Wagner, 89 speed. Any the Seahawks theme teams, we have a lot of Seahawks fans uh, of the show. Very excited about this card. I see him as not as Dude. good as Shaz, but better than any other middle linebacker you can let the CPU control. So, like, like I would be, if I were given the choice, you can have, like, fully powered up Bobby Wagner um oh does he have a power up we're gonna have to check yeah that. he does have um, a power up you can have fully powered up bobby wagner or you can have fully powered up Dion jones i mean purely because i'm a hawks fan as well plus i just think he he plays like 
a, a safety in a middle linebacker's yeah. body, whereas Deion Jones plays like a um, like basically a, a middle linebacker in a safety's body. I don't know. Like Bobby Wagner j- is a thumper as well, man. Yeah, I hit power am, 94. Am, dude, it's crazy. So like this card is amazing. It's just unfortunately – uh, it's priced out of most people's range. That's the thing. Uh, so expensive. And we'll, be, we'll be talking. I mean, we were hoping that training points would take a tank again, this promo. We'll talk about that in a little bit. It's one of the fails of the promo for now. But he's going to be pricey to build, bottom line. He's yeah. going to be really, really pricey. Now, so look, man, Bobby Wagner, and I wanted to bring this up too before we close out Team of the Week. It's really cool that they're doing limiteds. We have to look at this yeah. like the prime times. You know, the prime times come out every week. Yeah. They're super expensive if it's a good card. Bobby Wagner is probably still around a million coins right now because of how exclusive he is. But yeah. he does get the training point upgrade later, does he not? He does. Yeah, he does. And um, I want to be the first to go on the record as saying, wow, Derrick Henry better get the upcoming limited. Oh, or the oh my card. God. Holy the dude crap. was Marshawn Lynch recarnate. One of the craziest I runs I think I've ever seen. I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah. So look, man, uh, uh, hopefully this coming Tuesday, uh, we've got we've got a, a Derrick Henry. Can but you look, imagine Derrick Henry backed up by Eddie George? You're just getting <laughs> thumped all the way down to the goal line for a touchdown. I don't know if I want to face up against that. Titans theme teams, again, you guys are looking pretty good. So Bobby Wagner, good card. Not worth a million coins. Worth the training points, though. And maybe we can take advantage of a dip in the market with the next phase of uh, Zero Chill. But we'll have to come back to that in just a minute. So, Bobby Wagner, not too bad. Keenan Allen, the boss of all bosses. And uh, let's move on to Rising Stars, where the director the got some more love. Okay, guys. So, <laughs> Rising Stars is another one of the programs that got nixed uh, for the weekly content, which is unfortunate but it's not gone forever, in my opinion. I think, it, like they said, it's gone for this series. I think we're going to see it come back maybe even as soon as a week from after next week. Um, but there are a lot of teams that still don't have rising stars. Now, we'll go over these cards, but before we do, I just don't, I want to make it clear. I'm happy that the Chargers got a rising star, but I'm still going to be an advocate for every team getting a rising star. I'm happy, but I want you guys to be happy as well on your theme teams. And with that, let's go into Breland Speaks. Yes, sir. And uh, uh, look, he um, it's it's kind of a shame that they didn't show the the fully powered up card here. Pretty pretty solid when you get him up to the eighty nine. I'm not gonna lie. Um, a lot of people wondering where's the D Ford at though, because D Ford is um, tied. Is he not tied for sacks? leader in the yeah, NFL he's right having now. having a so, killer season. Yeah. yeah. So people are wondering where D Ford is, which is interesting, I think, which means like expected D Ford soon enough, potentially even kind of team of the year type, type material, um, which is coming up super soon as well after this month. Oh um, look, nice, nice card, nice card, good size um, and, and good block shed and good, uh, good finesse moves once you get him up to the 89 um, and decent speed as well. I think he's like uh, 79, if I'm not mistaken. So he's not, he's not terrible. Um, and, and of course the, this is what rising stars should be used for both chems and um, theme teams. So nice yeah. card right there. My, my advice here though, Tramagi, yeah. if you are running out of four, three, I wouldn't pick up this guy just because of his position. Cause as soon as you try out LT, subbing him in to right end, which you're going to need your backup right outside linebacker for, you're never yeah. going to want to go back. So yeah. it, that's the only reason I'd say stay away. Other than that, it, he's a rising star. Yeah, exactly. But tell us about this next guy. This guy right here <laughs> may seem like a little nut nothing on the surface, which I, I got to say, right off the bat, they did his speed really, really dirty. The 83 right here, you, you see he's got 84, but his 89 overall has 87 speed. Which so, is so bad. I don't it's, understand it's bad. why. Plus six why overall, this, only plus three speed. I was expecting way that, more. Do they think that everybody in the Chargers is just slow because Philip Rivers is slow? <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, like, oh, Rivers is slow. Just it has people, been like, up. a struggling journey to get the Chargers wide receiver speed up. I will tell you that. I'll tell you that right now. The guy upgraded on a Chargers themed team is a usable receiver, but they yeah. should have given him a minimum of like 86 speed. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, at least like 89 speed at his 89 overall. Like it just, it seemed a little low. Um, and the fact that he's not a power up, you can't put, you know, the sprinter and stuff on him. It made it a little, a little difficult, but Mike Williams, wide receiver, a great depth position. You can add him yeah. to your, your number five, you know, add all the cams, be happy with him there. 
There may be better wide receivers when this uh, promo comes back with better speed. Because, again, if you're not running a Chargers theme team, 87 speed. Okay, on my team, 91 speed. Usable on the outside. 6'4", great hands, decent route running. Um, other than that, I wouldn't use him if he's not on a Chargers theme. <laughs> at least not at a starter. Facts. There you go. Facts. Facts. But welcome to the squad for you, man. I'm very what excited. You know what? Just because we're here and we're all we're all we're all watching the director. Uh, again, this is minus a uh, Coach Madden, which we're like at 78, 79 uh, tokens for right now. This is the Mike Williams oh. and uh, the Chargers wide receivers on the theme team went for. We don't have anybody to. Now we've got people we can throw to. So it's been pretty good. Pretty good week for the Chargers oh. theme team. Wow. I go. like it. I like it a lot. All right, good moving stuff, on. Man. We got our prime time performers, another yep. slow ish receiver. Um, the second Seahawk uh, limited card for this week. So, you Seahawk yeah. teams, I hope you had yeah. an extra 2 million coins laying around yeah. because these guys yeah. are going to cost you a pretty penny. Uh, let's actually but, just start with Doug Baldwin right here. Yeah, but um, uh, faster than I thought he was going to be. Yeah, I, like, actually, seriously. you know what? I would I would have thought a 94 overall Doug Baldwin, 89, 88 speed. So, yeah, I, I was like, I was like, wow, okay, really cool. Caught out the uh, the the Wolfpack uh, alternate jersey right there. Remember, like most people that are getting this card are like all in on a power up as well. So straight away, he's got 91 speed. Um, Coach Madden, 92 speed. You're putting Sprinter on him, 93 speed, and you probably got you probably got at least 25 Seahawks in your team if you're yeah. going for Duck Bowl when you're a Seahawks fan. So you probably got him to like 90, 94, which is pretty nice. 94 speed on a Dougie Bowl when these stats are insane as well. They, um, they needed so a good wide receiver like to line it. up against uh, Jerry Rice, who also got an upgrade this week. Yeah. So I think yeah. uh, Doug Baldwin, it could have been worse. could have been much worse. So I think you guys Absolutely. got a decent card, a very expensive, but a decent card. Yeah, exactly. These primetime performers. And again, this is the last primetime performer batch of this particular series, but expect... Expect um, they did that it? to prime time. Did they? I don't remember seeing anything as far no, as prime no, no, time no. being done. Yeah, they what they did was they said that was prime time performers are going to be here for the whole season. Sorry, the actual NFL season. Yeah, so we've still got go. a few more weeks of them, which is nice. Um, uh, and then I guess Calais Campbell is the other one. Calais Campbell is a goon. He yeah. really, really is. Like like ninety five block shed, um, ninety five finesse move, and and that. That speed is actually really solid on a 6A frame. His cards always play well as well. The only problem is, like, this is a stupid expensive Calais Campbell, and yeah. you're not going to take a Calais Campbell over a Bosa or a Mac. You're just not going to do it. No. You won't do it. So this kind of th – this again, this card here prices itself out of contention is my feeling. So that's and why – We're starting to I, see that a lot more with primetime and now even with the limited team of the weeks. It's just yeah. things are just a little too expensive, especially for theme teams, which kind of sucks because theme teams, you know, it's – it's even with Casey Hayward last week, I was excited that we got him, but I was like, man, that's that's at least, you know, 500,000 coins I got to, you know, uh, dedicate to the theme team. It's yeah. pretty harsh. Now, with Calais Campbell, his last card was a 90 overall Mutt Monster, right? I believe so, yes. So I'm thinking that if you don't want to go all the way in on a 94 Calais Campbell, maybe you can upgrade him with training to like a 92 or something like that, yeah. which is it's a good upgrade and it's not going to cost you the whole farm. So there you go, Calais Campbell. Yeah. Nice card. Very big in the way kind of player. Little Ow. slow, but I would suggest waiting for the training points and then at very minimum you can upgrade him uh, to a tier below. So not too bad, not too bad. Not too shabby. So next up then, Legends. Legends. All right, legends for this week, Trumpet Monkey. We've got one that I'm super, super stoked for, one that I actually appreciate for Vikings theme teams. But let's let's jump into Dick Lambeau. Wow, legend Dick of Lambeau. the Lions coming in, look, another cornerback for Mutt. This guy, dude, I'm absolutely shocked look, that we got him. Would you look at the cannons on this dude, man? Look at those biceps. Holy crap, man! That is like. Seriously insane. He's in his 80s, still around. Um, I don't know if he's still coaching. I know he was, uh, he was like what defensive coordinator for the Titans until like a year, a couple of years, a year yeah, ago. Yeah, and then I think, but better known with the Steelers, uh, Dick yeah, Lambeau, absolutely. dude. What he brings is a cornerback, six one oh. height, which is very nice, very decent speed at ninety one. Oh. You can match him up on Lions theme teams with Darius Slay. Yeah. Uh, the zone and man coverage, a, a little low for a 94, but you can easily get that up with Kim. Yeah. And the play rec is pretty high as well. So, you know, I really I, do like this corner. I am starting to put a lot of stock in play rec as well. Like, I really? feel like the, yeah, I feel like the, 
the difference between, um, uh, I guess, uh, a really uh, a decent safety and a really good one is play rec in particular. Jack Tatum is killing it. So um, uh, I feel like this card, you know, with 90, 97 play rec, maybe even 98 if you've done Madden, is going to be insane. Um, I can't wait to see, like, his hit power and, and block shed and stuff like that. Yeah. And I, I, I feel like with, the, um, with those guns, you have to imagine he's going to be flopping and flipping some wide receivers out deep. Right? That's a pretty. I think I, think, I just think it's really cool man it's yeah. a really really cool card um uh, fyi uh theme teams he played for the lions his entire career was he not a brown for one year i don't believe so no it wasn't okay double check on that while we bring in the next legend here dick lambeau very nice cornerback lions be a static next up we've got chris carter of the minnesota vikings you guys got yourself a wide receiver to line up, minus or uh, 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 aside from uh, Randy Moss. The guy's 94, 90 speed, which is a little low, but again, on a theme team, he's going to look really good. Uh, but even on any team, really, you upgrade him to the 95. 91 speed will do the job. He's got great hands, great jumping, and route running 91s across the board. I think this card is going to surprise some people, especially maybe even in the slot. Yeah, I, I think um, his cards always play well as well. Just confirm, Dick LeBeau, 100% Detroit Lions. 100% his entire, Lions. His entire career. This guy right here, though, Chris Carter, guys, um, you have to remember, he started with Philadelphia. Then, of course, he's known as a Viking. But, guys, he played five games for the Miami Dolphins as well. That was something <laughs> I might I wanted to I wanted to like slip in there. Um that's really cool for the for the Dolphins steam team right there. I'm kind of happy. Finn up. There we go. There you go. Um, no, look, he's uh, uh, the speed is a little bit underwhelming here um, uh, for me, uh, but I think if you're if you're going all in on him, then you're going to probably be getting power up Madden and and sprinter right. on him as well. So straight away he's kind of 93. Um, if you're running a Viking steam team, wow. Yeah. Like like wow, 96 speed, wowie. Um, that's pretty dope. So, uh, look, I, I feel like he, um, am I, am I right in saying he run blocks? Well, is, is Chris, Chris Carter cards run block? Well, just from I memory? don't remember, but if he does, I mean, that's even more reason to put him in the slot yeah. and let him do his thing, dude. That's, I mean, yeah. I, I think you guys got something here. Chris Carter for me, the last couple of Maddens, I've always written him off cause he's always had kind of lower speed, but yeah. he's always kicked my butt <laughs> on head to head. So I he's, think he's a good card. He's okay. Um, I think uh, uh, Keyshawn Johnson, Keyshawn Johnson, when he came out a couple of weeks back, was like the the sneaky rival to Megatron, and and I, from all the head to head footage I've seen as well, plays like it. So this card right here, a little bit below him, but but solid as well. I think I think the highlight is um is uh, Dick LeBeau, and I can't wait to see who the limited is. I think. Oh, um, okay. I, I think, think the limited. Is a good segue think, into what we have. For what is zero chill? The zero chill. Get into the zero, zero chill. chill stuff. I think I think it's about time. Uh, we're gonna briefly mention that there was a patch update. You guys can check that out on Mutt. Had some pretty cool stuff that they uh, implemented there. Uh, but zero chill, guys. Now this is where things get a little bit crazy, a little bit dicey. Ooh. But you guys gotta see the whole picture. I, I actually said this in my last video. You gotta look at it like. A, a film trilogy, Lord of the Rings and uh, Star Wars and those sort of things. You, you want to look at it as a whole rather than like individually. Like individually, yep. they can be really good, but I wouldn't judge it until you see the whole thing, okay? And I'm currently in that state after not loving The Last Jedi, but I'm giving it a chance because there's still one more part to that yeah, story. And, and I think and the same thing so, applies here. Without without feeding the trolls, but uh, but also without like, necessarily um reigning on the the strong opinions that are out there okay strong opinions shared very much by by people we know and love like gut fox for example um the start of this promo is absolute caca as they say in estonia yeah. it's absolute poo poo let's be let, let like we 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 are positive dudes you and i director yeah. and everybody knows that and we don't even mind being made fun of uh, for being positive dudes but uh we need to Absolutely, I think, kind of go on the record as saying the start of this promo positively sucked. However, understand, and we're going to show you the calendar in a minute as well. Understand, guys, that by this time next week, by the time we're going to be sitting here with, with grins ear to ear 
for the next Mob Force episode, Saturday a week, because I guarantee you by December 14th, you're going to be in love with this promo and it will only be halfway through. Yeah. So trust me there. We got some fun predictions coming up. Well, you're going to pitch me with some predictions and I'm going to make no comment whatsoever. Um, <laughs> but let's let's run through uh, uh, day one of, of what we saw anyway. Uh, I think uh, I think we kind of uh, the, the thing to mention straight off the bat is that there is a new currency in the game. Yeah, um, let's actually show that really quick here, too. Yeah. So you guys notice on the top right-hand side of the screen, it's a little small, but you, you'll notice there's snow now. And yeah. snow is a new concept they're bringing to promos. Do I like it? I don't really know yet because it feels too expensive. It feels like it's complicating things a little bit too much. I don't know, what do you think? There, there's a bunch of theories. Um, I think you need to go to the store as well yeah. and just show what where you you you're you're forced to go into the store and access a tab in order to spend your snow. Um, that is, uh, look, we live in a capitalist society, okay? So you can either say that that's fair game in terms of a marketing ploy or nefarious. I'm going with fair game. I'm sorry, communism failed. <laughs> the West won. Welcome to capitalist society. So you have to access the store. Fair enough. Um, now, the, I, I, I think, obviously, the, the biggest theory is that snow has been brought in to stop training points from completely tanking. People might be going, well, how, monkey? Well, every single new card in this promo, guys, if you quick sell it, you get snow. You don't get training points. Yeah. <gasps> in case you didn't know, I hope that. And that's I don't like that, Trump money. I don't Not like that. Not a lot that. of people do <clears throat> like that, okay? And I am, I, I am reserving initially, just like everybody else, like, what is going on? But reserving my judgment until after we see what we get from daily solos in particular. So to give everybody an idea, we've done the math. If you were to finish all your objectives, um, play your solos, and also quick sell what you get in your little intro pack, you're basically going to have 595 snow to play with. And if you have a look there... Um, that's gonna that's gonna let you buy an 85 to an 87 a couple of times, or you could go buy 59 uh, golds. So there is just straight away like a little bit of um, I say coin benefit uh, from from your solos and from your objectives. Uh, but the objectives are a bit difficult to to complete, guys. Yeah, you have they to win. are. It, it just seems like five. a lot of work for very little reward. Yeah, but but let's not judge it just yet. Let's wait and see, okay? So I think there's like two elements to the so to the promo right now. We'll have a, we'll have the snow. We've addressed it. I would say reserve your judgment, and we will be right there giving scathing reviews if if we don't get a hell of a lot of snow coming our way super soon, okay? Then uh, I, I, I have something I want to add. I have something I want to add before we, we we move on from the snow. The zero chill packs that you're seeing right here. The one that's worth doing is the Elite for a buck fifty. Those are almost always worth doing. These bundles that you're seeing here, do Stay not away. partake. Stay away. It's a trap. It's a trap. So doing the math here, guys, zero chill. Okay, so you're going to get a minimum of a 77 overall gold, right? And from what I've seen on YouTube and from guys in my clan, most of those are going to happen. Most of your packs you're going to pull, you're going to pull a gold. It's very rare that you see an elite in these packs, okay? So the bare minimum that you're going to get out of this is 18 77 overalls and 185, which can be like 150 snow. <coughs> so the, the floor is around 300 snow. Trump monkey for 8,900 Microsoft points that 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 won't even get you one of the 90 to 90 or the 89 to 91 overall no but, players but you got no one to blame but yourself no one forced you to pull the trigger on the packs right there and yeah but if you are a PAX guy this well, is hey, not hey. the place to spend them save those points Absolutely. for what's to we, come we and hey I used to be a massive bundle ripper a few months ago okay and and no no shade thrown there but as I would never buy a bundle without looking under the hood a little bit first and doing a little bit of predetermination. Uh, so listen, I always say like, wait, the bundles aren't going anywhere. Wait six hours. Look at Reddit. 
Yeah. Right. Look at look at wait wait for wait for some content creators to put some feedback out there. Um and and uh, look, uh, no one's forcing you to buy them. So absolutely, our advice as well for this particular bundle is steer away. Yeah. But let's get into the players, director. Let's do it. Want to have a look at the at the and start at the bottom and work your way up. Okay. Um, there are some like uh, lower overall elites as well. Um. And, and a few benefits to theme teams. I see that you got another fullback, in fact, there. Um, uh, one of the Watt brothers. We did. But what is, my, my favorite card that isn't listed. Well. My favorite card that isn't listed here is that Desmond King, who had the fire pick six versus the Steelers. Yeah. The guy's been all over the place this season. Uh, the Chargers have great DBs. And that Desmond King's going to be playing safety for me until we get an Eric Weddle power up card. Uh, Jimmy Smith, 89 overall corner for the Ravens. Underwhelming, the Ravens. Um, unless you have a theme team. Yep, Zemar is going to be happy. Uh, moving swiftly on, Josh, Josh Gordon, right here. Flash. Ah! Okay, so I love that this card is here. I wanted him to have at least ninety-two speed, though, because the dude can motor. Um, Based on but, his overall, I see why it's not like that's a good speed for his overall. But yeah, is it, as a card on regular mutt teams. Bro, I would I would literally take eighty catch for a cup for a couple speed bump right there. Yeah. You know, like seriously. Um I, I, I just I feel like they did him dirty on the speed right here. Obviously Pat's name team super happy as well though. Um this next card is um wow. The only thing the only thing that could be said anything positive about this is if you are running a Titans team team. Like this yeah. is this is an unusable card right here. So this but one was uh, Let me at, say it, this. I have faced yeah. Titans theme teams with Corey Davis, and it is so confusing, the 284s on the field, about the same height. <laughs> you don't know which one's going to burn you and which one's going to be uh, trying to catch up. So I, did that being said, that he does have a place in the world. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Um, continue with the poor cards. And this is why it was so underwhelming, guys. But look, ha keep the faith. It's going to get better. Um, Avery Williamson, again... And and everybody's kind of thinking 83 speed barely usable. Yeah, barely usable. Uh, even as a CPU middle linebacker, you have to be running jet seam team. But but is there a but? Teams, there are theme teams are a massive part of the community now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. yes, if you're not a Jets fan, a Titans fan, a Pats fan, a, a, a Ravens fan, so far you're you're not liking these cards, just like I'm not. But you cannot deny. That there are 32 fan bases out there, guys. And there's a 33rd fan base, which is just the God Squad Mutt team. But but you cannot deny that these cards are answering a certain need at the very beginning of the promo. Yeah. So uh, uh, moving moving. But, yeah, and, and just to cap that off, Jets sneakily one of the better theme teams you can have. Like yeah. real, like realistically, taking a look at it, Jets actually have a pretty nice theme team. I just I need I need to tell you that if 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 a new Raiders middle linebacker came out that had base 83 speed. I don't. I don't care what overall he was. That would be so good for my theme team. But anyway, yeah. uh, Kevin Zeidler, really, really solid uh, uh, right guard here um, for uh, passing. Well, yeah, no, no, uh, uh, but he's got good speed. Zeidler. Yeah. So like he actually, I'm I'm just a massive um, believer in in like that kind of big frame with a bit of speed. I he wish that we blocking. could see his lead block, which is probably not great because his run blocking is pretty terrible. Yeah. But uh, this is one of the guys you can set and forget for the Browns theme yeah. teams for sure. Very nice card. Definitely. Uh, and Limble, Limble Joseph here, uh, reminder, he was a giant as well. Lunagod, friend of the streamer and friend of the show, um, was blown away when I shared the complete list of power players and teams that they could play for. And he was like, I forgot Limble Joseph was a giant. <laughs> so like, and, and you got snacks in this one as well. So literally, if you're running Giants theme team, ET's you looking got good. Oh my God! Your defensive tackles are a couple of space eaters. One pet peeve: he had the longest, the longest uh, interception. Run, yeah, and and run as for a defensive tackle, and he outran de and outran the offense. And this this guy needs eighty speed. I'm sorry, get it, get it. So I don't give a crap that it, that it's different to regs and mutt. Give the dude eighty speed. The car will be unstoppable. And now we start to get a little bit more Ooh. into it. This, I can tell you right now, guys, Kalechi Assembly plays really, really well in the run and the pass. Don't let those run stats fool you right there, run blocking stats. Uh, Before you continue, guy. I'm going to say this yes. now that we're on this card. I think this is the best out of the 93s, this Kalechi. I think this is the best one. 
Yeah, I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to say he's dead even with another one we're going to be looking at. But this is a really, really nice card. So day one of the promo, um, arguably the best left guard in the game? I would say so, yeah. I would think he's the best left guard in the game. He's massive. He's got good speed, as far as I can remember. And uh, the pass and run block stats are fantastic. I love his clutch. And not to mention, he's a diamond. So he's got time but, yeah. for Kim. Believe me when I tell you that this card plays... He's going to play amazingly well because I already know his powered up diamond plays amazingly well. There Moving swiftly on, but yes, that is that's currently the best card in the promo. Now this one right here, he actually reaches the spin threshold as well. Um, I I think uh, just like in real life, he's going to be overshadowed come team of the week by by Derrick Henry. But this right here is low key a really really nice um uh, a really really nice card and uh, happy happy again if you're running the Jags team team you are you're on cloud nine right now baby so ninety five um, break tackle ninety yeah. I'm sorry trucking Truck. yeah. ninety break tackle ninety one speed that's all you really need to know this card is is a thumper yeah. That's it. No, go. no, really, really, really solid. Solid card right there. Limble Joseph uh, and, and Fournette are solid. Luck, Colts fans are going ham for this. That's what I'm saying. Like, 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 like the theme team is an, it's a massive element of the community now, so you can't deny that. Personally, I'm a little bit butthurt that they did his throw power so low, and, and that's only because J Jacoby Brissett comes in to throw the Hail Marys. Um, I feel like Andrew Luck should be able to reach 99 throw power. But bottom line is, man, he throws lasers, and there's something in Andrew Luck mutt cards. Yeah. Even when you're playing solos against Andrew Luck, he's dotting you up and yeah. demolishing your secondary, even when you're a 99 overall in and, previous and months. I'll say, Andrew Luck has been one of my favorite quarterbacks in the last, what, three or four months since he was drafted. I love, love Andrew Luck. This year, I haven't used him because his cards just didn't hit the thresholds that I wanted. Yeah. This card is the first Andrew Luck that you can get that throw accuracy deep where it needs to be, but you need like yeah. Coach Madden, you know, you need the right cams, you need to upgrade him, but still, I think that's worth it in an Andrew Luck card because he just plays different. He's very, very, yeah. very good. The throw power you can get up. I am considering rostering Andrew Luck again because I love Andrew Ew. Luck and I think this is a great card. It's it's not too shabby. I'm just going to say it's a good card. Leonard Fournette, yeah. Limbo Joseph is a good card. Kalechi Assembly is a Great card. Um, moving on, moving on, right? Okay. Uh, Landon Collins now. Now, okay. Landon Collins cards play well. Everybody knows that. But, unfortunately for me, all strong safeties are living in the shadow of, I'm about to say it, bolt <laughs> up. <laughs> Derwin James continues. <laughs> continue. We'll do it every, every once in a while. Derwin James will, will do something that shows he's like a 90 overall in head to head and and just miss on one play where you kind of like well you know if I went God Squad maybe my strong safety makes that but Derwin James continues nine out, nine times out of ten 99 out of 100 to make clutch plays massive hits interceptions insane animations and that is why Landon Collins for me is only a good card but of course if you are running the Giants theme team. This card right here ticks a massive box, a massive, yeah. massive box. So in the strong safety community, <clears throat> you got three guys, right? You got, you yeah. got two guys. You got Derwin James because he's a rookie premier most people have, and he plays out of his mind. Yeah. And you've got Adrian Amos. Anybody yeah. after that, it's just the name, I think. But this guy's yeah, got good stats to back it up. The first Landon Collins I'm seeing where I'm like, okay, I did, you know, yeah. I got to watch out for Landon Collins. But again, there is there are the other strong safeties to take in consideration there. If you're not, you make a, a really good point. I left his name out, guys. Adrian Amos is the best strong safety in the game. Facts. But um, this is a good card. Okay, this isn't a great card, but it's a good card. There you so go. yeah, and he's a thumper as well at 94 hit power. Next up, oh, Ryan yeah. Kerrigan. Again, again, I feel like the whole start of this promo. Literally, it was just like uh, like ticking boxes for particular fan bases and theme teams. Um, again, this guy will sack you. I, gu I guarantee you. If you come up against right, you're oh, he's, he's not. You know, he's not Von Miller. He's not Kevin Green. But you're gonna. He's gonna be in your QB's grill. Another good card. I'm sorry, but another good card. Definitely. In three, four uh, lineups, yeah. I'm always looking Ryan Kerrigan's way because he's got the yeah. crazy power move. Finesse move not too far behind. Speed's okay. Again, he's not crazy. Like, no one's going to go crazy about Ryan Kerrigan, but he has his place in the world. Uh, next up, I love this card. I'll just say that flat Dude, out. I like this card a this, lot. 
this for me, this for me right here, the, the two best cards of the, the first leg of Zero Chill tied with Coleccio Semele. Because you just need to understand, guys, now that he's up to the 80-out power move, you're putting pass rush on this card. You're powering him up, okay? So straight away, you're going to have that, that 92 power move. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna have 87 finesse move, um, and you're and you're gonna have I I would like he's gonna have like 63 speed with a coach Madden, he and, and, and the crazy block shed, um, this card right here is starting to get into godlike territory because it, the the more speed he gets as well, the scarier this card becomes. Like when when 99 overall snacks is looking at at, at 70 speed powered up. Yeah, this is this is gonna be disgusting. Like, like I'm sorry. Uh, and, I, I and really think you'll be hard pressed to find a oh. better three four defensive tackle, better nose tackle in the game than Damon Harris. I just I, these cards play great. They've always played great, yeah. and I'm I'm excited to see how he yeah. plays. I think he looks really good. So this is and this is why there has to be a silver lining with this. We've even day one of the promo. The the worst start still has for me. Like like one of the best defensive tackles in the game. I still think Alan Page is like the king, um, which is crazy considering like their size differential. Like I feel like Alan Page could fit into like Snacks' little tummy right there. <laughs> but um, but Snacks, uh, Snacks is a fantastic defensive tackle. Yeah. Um, and and Osemele is a fantastic uh, left guard. Um, but moving moving on then to the, to the, the masters. masters, the day one Masters anyway. Tad Ocho Cinco. You take this one away. You I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go away. ahead and say that that Ocho Cinco to me it looks like an above average wide receiver because you we just had Tyree Kill who in my opinion is the best wide receiver in the game via speed. Uh, we just got an upgrade to Jerry Rice who's a now what a 96 is that right 96 overall Jerry Rice. So uh, uh, dropping a hero or dropping a master like Chad Johnson is gonna leave people feeling underwhelmed. They're gonna they're gonna look at that and say eh, a lot of people, even me and I hate to admit it I saw Chad Johnson I was like eh, I'll wait you know I'll wait I'll wait I'll wait Chad Johnson to me he's gonna perform great don't get me wrong he's gonna be a very good card guys in my clan I've got one dude that picked him up saying that he is catching everything yeah. um, especially yeah. high point pass in the in the end zone like yeah. he's performing fantastic this this and this is why for me this is my whole point we're gonna see Dick Buckus in a second okay this is why for me. I think it's the worst start to the promo that I've seen in a while, okay? And I agree with people because they got the stats wrong on Butkus, but the name value right. Dick Butkus being in the game is so freaking awesome. And the more of these, like, Dick LeBeau's, Nitrain Dick Lane, the triple Dick factor (laughs) in the game, they, they got the name completely right in terms of namesake. But I feel like Chad Johnson got got um dick buckus's stats so they got the stats really right on chad johnson and the name wrong and the name really right on dick buckus and the stats wrong i watched Gut fox play with chad johnson um in a game where i felt like the rng was 100 percent against Gut fox and i watched a, a a corner uh route pass into the end zone into really double coverage um uh, from freaking dak prescott and the ball got there, and Chad Jones has made this beautiful animation, got the feet down. Um, this card plays brilliantly well. You hit the nail on the head. You hit the nail 100% on the head. Um, so you, you won't be disappointed um, with, with Chad Johnson in your team. And look forward later in the year to his UL, which is going to be amazing. Yep. Um, and remember, but, guys, Chad Johnson fits on Bengals, Patriots, and Miami Dolphins themed teams as well. That's it. Whoa, uh, they can't pick the cam right now, though, can they? Oh, that's right. That's right. So you can't yeah, upgrade, yeah. Chad. That's another thing I don't really love about, about the Masters. Mo- yeah. I, I know, want right? Sprinter, you know? I want give the us upgrade. A, give I want us a the power team, up. you know? Yeah, that... Ooh, okay. Now, give let's just talk about card. Dick Butkus. Cause Here's I, a monster. Here's <sighs> a power-up card to go with it. Spend your training points. Now, but, okay, <sighs> I, I love that Dick Butkus is in the game. And that's what yeah. I'm excited about here. Let's let's call it, let's address the elephant in the room, okay? Eighty four speed, eighty four speed. It, it, you cannot justify. You can't justify spending. He, he's going for like six hundred thousand now. He's not that expensive for ninety five overall. His other stats are insane. They're off the charts. This guy just needed a tiny bump in the speed stats. He needed eighty six, and he's probably serviceable with Coach Madden. Okay, no, you no. got eighty seven speed, but. 
But the 84 speed, this is what I'm saying. I love the name, though. I love that he's in there, and I can't wait for his UL. The speed is the biggest letdown. But I got to tell you guys, look at 86 zone and look at 95 play rec. If you put lockdown on this card, okay, if you put lockdown on this card and you have Coach Madden, he's going to have 90 zone, okay, he's going to have 80 uh, five speed, and he's going to have 98 play recognition with 94 hip hip power, 93 uh, uh, block shed, 95 tackle, 91 strength. Um, this card, as a CPU controlled in, in short down distances, I think is going to be amazing. Around the goal line, there's no one else I want. But when there's a deep field behind you, when, when the opponent's starting at the, their own 25 and they've got 75 yards ahead of them, this card will probably let you down. Yeah. So I took a hard look at Dick Puckus and I, I I thought to myself, if I was, let's say I was a Bears theme team guy, all right? Oh. You're looking at, you got Erlacher, you got Roquan, you got Danny Trevathan, and then here comes Dick Buckus. I, I don't know if I would want him on my squad if he was playing middle linebacker. If you are running a Bears theme team, I guess, I would start He's him so fast. as one He's of so the... Fast. Yeah, I would start him as one of the backup speed. middle linebackers and then put him either at outside linebacker or even end. With the stats 80, that I'm seeing in front of me, 88 speed though on on uh, Bears team team is out of this world. Yeah, like, it's like, that's good, but great. I think I would still have Roquan as a user, or I'm sorry, uh, yeah. Erlacher as a user, Roquan in coverage, and then maybe send Dipuckus in in pressure and run stuff. That's that's really what I see with this card, which is weird because it's Dick Butkus, but it it is an odd yeah. master. It is very very odd. I don't know how to I don't know how to put my finger on it. I just feel like the speed let us down. Yeah, it really did. It really did. So we got Dick Puckus. We got Chad Johnson. Two decent cards not blowing anybody away as far as their stats on top of the name. Um, but we have to be optimistic, guys. There's. I wanted to show this. This is something that me and Drop Monkey have been talking a lot about the past couple of days. Um, there's more to come. Now, as soon as, like, maybe oh, even tomorrow yeah. morning when we wake up, me and Trump Monkey might not even know that there's something huge dropping in the morning. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The limited, that might be what this is. I'm leaning against it. I think it might be something separate. But as you see here, we had Chad Johnson already revealed. On the 8th, we're getting a new one. On the 10th, the 12th, and the 14th, we're also getting new reveals. That means we have four more chances to get a really nice card that's going to blow everyone out of the water. An LT sort of Thanksgiving impression on this promo. So what do you director, think of that? Director, director, give me, give me full camera. Beep, 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 beep. Full, full screen. You're now in the trumpet monkey zone. Mark my words, Madden community. Come December 14th, you're going to be in love with this promo. You're going to want this promo deep, deep, deep inside of you. You can take that sexually or, or asexually. I'm happy. And we'll only be halfway through. What do you know, Trumpet Monkey? What is in that noggin? I know nothing. I know nothing. I know absolutely nothing. But trust me, by December 14th, you're going to be in love with this promo. And I'll only be halfway through. This promo ends on January 1st. Ah, I've been insinuating there, Trumpet Monkey. I'm your partner in crime. I should know everything that you know. Ah! But you know what? Since Since we're not in the mind of Trumpet Monkey... We, we decided to to create a reality of our own and, and come up with something that would maybe get the, the community a little bit hyped and maybe bring a lot of more optimism back into this promo. Because, guys, it's zero chill. This this That's this uh, promo has one of the best reputations on maybe all of the mutts. So to be so pessimistic right now I think is the wrong move. Wait for the whole picture. And we've got a little bit of a sneak peek maybe to show you guys on what to expect here. All right, John Monkey. Yes, so zero chill in the past – has included other parts of the promo, such as, go. Uh, Ghosts of Christmas, uh, past, present, and future. Snow beasts, a million and one Bo Jacksons, out of position cards, you name it. They've had it. So uh, so what do you got for us, Director? I, I hear you have some... Some sneaky predictions to make, old boy. Some we, sneaky predictions. We do, we do. So uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll hover on this here for just a second. Um, we went ahead and made some fan art for some of the promos that we're excited to see. And uh, we placed those popular names in there of things that you can possibly expect 
in the coming days and weeks, okay? So we're going to start off with some out-of-position predictions here, and uh, we'll go full oh. screen for a lot of these here. Starting off with Calvin Johnson at free safety. It is no secret that this is one of the, the, the cornerstones of out-of-position that people look forward to in uh, Christmas promos, okay? This guy plays out of his mind at the free safety position. He's obviously 6'4", great hands, and one of the glitchiest cards to come out all year. And he has made me cry in head-to-head -head many a time. <laughs> many, many a time trying to sneak a ball over the top of Megatron. No, sir. No, no. No, sir, Bob. So I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking again, I, I, I did this in my last <laughs> prediction video, and I'm going to give this one. I can't give this to you, Trump, because I don't know what you know. Um, what do you think? What do you, what do you think we're getting this Trump? What do you think? Yeah, that, it's a, he doesn't, he doesn't it's a nice. It's a yeah, nice yeah. card. Oh, he's going to. Next up, I love this card art. It's pretty fire. Uh, Julio Jones at strong safety. Uh, we've seen Julio at safety in the past. I think this would be pretty fun. Guys, uh, give, me a, give me a thumbs up and a sub for the card art here. You can find Come it on. all on mine. Why and are you not making card art for a living for EA? Look at this, man. Look at this. I don't like this boundaries. This card looks amazing. I don't, I, I don't like having a cap on my creativity, Trumpet Monkey. Oh. If this is the space I must live in to be a free oh. artist... That is what so I'll do. So close, so close, yet so far, just out of reach. Just there. Just there. Awesome, oh, awesome card art. Awesome card art. I mean, Julio has been laying the wood this year as well. You know, that's all I have to say. I think that would be an awesome card. He's also got the height. He's got the hands. I think that would be a great addition. Next up, I out also, of position. I huh? also believe that would be an awesome card. Oh, thank you, John Muggy. We're, we're happy to hear the insight. Next up, we got halfback. This one I struggled with because I had two Ew. cards that I was thinking. Halfback Tyreek Hill would be out of this world in Sam. We already see him on uh, wide receiver uh, end arounds and stuff like that. So just <laughs> having him naturally at the halfback position would be really, really cool. Um, I struggled against yeah. this card and Deion Sanders because Deion Sanders already has some crazy good ball carrier moves. So it would be cool to see. Uh, last year we saw Michael Vick at the halfback position. I'd like to see another really fast name out of position at halfback. Uh, this card would be... Awesome. I'm telling you right now, uh, 99 speed on a Tyree kill at halfback, 99 speed on a Tyree kill at halfback would be my starting halfback in the morning. In the morning, I think it would be amazing. Just I, don't, get I, don't think, I think anyone would be crazy to roster anybody else at that point. Uh, yeah. Next up, we've got, and this is a fan favorite. A lot of oh. people ask me to Photoshop this card. Okay, guys, here comes <laughs> the Odell Beckham Jr. quarterback card. For the New York Giants, all right? Odell Beckham Jr., he's, we've seen him throw, what, two touchdown passes this season, Drum Monkey? Two? I know nothing. I know nothing. Uh, you have to at least what, know the stats of the what? season. We can't be vague about actual facts. What? <laughs> what, what do you do if you're a Giants fan with a theme team and OBJ is your quarterback? Are you? Do you believe bye in Eli? Bye-bye, Eli. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Eli's gone, and here comes OBJ. We'll buy him a ticket there to New go. Mexico. No one will, no one will miss Eli, dude. This Odell Beckham Jr. I would love to. Uh, I, I remember when Golden Tickets came out last season. I was like one of the only guys hyped to see Terrell Pryor quarterback. I just love those wide receivers <laughs> at quarterback position cards. I would love an Odell Beckham. He would be on my roster just for the fun of it. I love Odell Beckham. I love the idea of this. Do you like the idea of this trumpet monkey? Is this a good idea? This is a very good idea. God. But I know nothing. He knows nothing. Okay, so we got... Those are the out-of-position cards thus far. I think we had a couple more, did we not? Maybe not. Uh, oh, yeah. We had one more. One pretty good one more. Woo! One that people are very familiar with and would love to see. <laughs> Wide receiver, Dion Sanders. You know what? I think I want to use, use the elf clip right here because uh, when wide receiver primetime burns you over the top of all your coverage... For a simple streak touchdown. Son of a nutcracker! Ow! Son of a nutcracker! Wide receiver, Deion Sanders. Now, we already have kind of a, 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 a taste of what that could be like. In the running gun playbook, you can play yep. your number one wide, or number one cornerback at wide receiver. And I've seen him do some pretty serious damage. Yep. You guys know what you're getting out of Deion Sanders. You, especially if you have out of position Deion with just Plus. regular in position Tyreek Hill. You're gonna give your opponent a hard time, man. This is a. I think this could be one of the cards to break the game, and I think there's a really yes, good sir. chance of seeing it enter in the promo. Yes, sir. No, lost stream. I actually uh, had a bit of fun on the solos there, subbing prime time in at uh, wide receiver and watching him streak 
Honey, we're streaking to KFC. It was great. Mm. It was really mm, fantastic. Mm, 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 mm. Let's get into another prediction for the ghosts of Ooh. past and present, starting with Randall Cunningham. What would we wow. see out of a Randall Cunningham card, Trumpet wow. Monkey? Well, we will. I think it's safe to say that that a Dale Cunningham card is well and truly overdue. And if we don't get one soon, then those Philly fans are going to be rioting. The so city gotta... can't take much more, EA. You are the hero Philadelphia needs. Deliver a Randall Cunningham. This card would be absolutely insane. Uh, I think Donovan McNabb's days are numbered, uh, depending on when we get this Cunningham <laughs> card, because this is this would be a pretty fire card. So there's a first uh, ghost of the past prediction. Take another ghost of the past prediction. Now, I, I purposefully gave him a 96 rather than a 95 <laughs> for Randy Moss because I think Randy Moss... And a Titans uniform, huh? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, we had to give him some love in the Titans unis, bro. The Titans getting all the drops this year. Might as well just give him the card art too, right? <laughs> Man, if this uh, if this ends up being, I think the Mutt Wieners are going to be pretty happy. They're going to be pretty happy, aren't they? They got to be. Again, guys, Randy Moss... One of the, if not the best wide receiver in the game when he's got the top tier cards. At 95 even, maybe even 96, this would tremendously break. Because he's got the height, he's got the speed, he's got the hands. He doesn't have the run block because the only Achilles heel of that card. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, out I'm of gonna, curiosity, out of curiosity, you're still expecting as well the Randy Moss at cornerback, are you not? I don't know if you can have it both ways. I'm, I'm thinking that we know. maybe could. I'm thinking we might. We'll at least get one or the other, I feel. But I would I would rally more for the wide receiver, I think. I don't know. Maybe, no, maybe yeah. not. I don't know. Because the corner is so fire. But Randy Moss, wide receiver, I'm hoping it's coming. And I'm think I'm thinking it's coming so confidently that I went and picked up like four Randy Mosses just in case. So I can sell them off later and wow. then get the coin I need to pick up the new Randy Moss. Because I love Randy Moss cards, guys. So there he is, Randy Moss wow. in the Titans Uni. Crossing my if fingers, only, hoping to die. If only somebody had some inside information they could share with you. Mm, what? What's the next? Trumpet monkey. All right, next What's card next coming card up in hot. <laughs> we got one of the ghosts of Christmas future, <laughs> Denzel Ward. Now, Trumpet monkey, I know you would love this card. What would you see out of a Denzel Ward? Oh, this would be an amazing rookie premiere upgrade. Amazing. Ninety-four might be stretching it. You never know. It might might be stretching a little bit. But um, let's be honest, guys. A lot of people have the rookie premiere. Um, and the card already plays great, and it's, what, an 85? I mean, see, I still blitz with him. Yeah. So um, an upgrade to Denzel is overdue, and uh, I think he's going to be around in uh, in the Browns uniform and and in that uh, AFC North for a long time. So um, I think definitely a ghost of the future. Now, I, I really couldn't decide. Good potential. Good potential is all I'll say. I couldn't decide on which rookie premiere I wanted more, so we decided to go with both <laughs> here. Ro uh, Saquon Barkley, the guy's been having one of the best rookie running back seasons of all time. Had to give him some love in the predictions. 94 overall seems really fair. The uh, the upgrade to the rookie premiere would be fantastic. And you guys know what you're getting at Saquon by now. The guy's lean. The guy's mean. The guy hits tremendously hard. I think this would be a great upgrade for a very deserving ghost of the future. Well, I uh, smile and I, nod, trumpet monkey. Smile and nod. I agree. I agree that a Saquon card would be amazing, but we have to wait and see. We must wait to see what Santi brings us underneath the tree. Inside yes. the thoughts and mind of trumpet monkey. We had a couple more guys. I couldn't help myself. Trumpet monkey's these, like, let's start the show, are, and I was like, we need more. We need this card more. Out is amazing. This card out is amazing, though, I do man. Love this. Seriously. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We have Lamar Jackson. 93 overall quarterback. Lamar's really been proven that he can hold an offense together in the absence of Joe you got a great Flacco. Point. So I'm you got thinking a great point. Lamar Jackson might be able to see. We might see a nod with him. And you know what, guys? Last season in Madden 18, I had no more joy than at the times I had golden ticket Lamar Jackson throwing the ball with tremendous accuracy <laughs> and tremendous speed. So I would love to have Lamar back on the team, man. I, I, I just, just seeing the card art that I threw together 25 minutes ago <laughs> gives me tremendous uh, sexual feelings that I shouldn't be having towards mutton cards. Well, here we go, next card. This one you haven't seen, Trump. Again, I wanted to surprise you with at least one. Ooh. We have a ghost of the future in Darius Geis. Obviously got hurt at the beginning of the season, but there is no doubt in anyone's mind that the, that the kid has tremendous talent. Okay? 
I'm thinking that the uh, Redskins would, Redskins fans would love to see him come back in the form of a Ghost of Future, and I think he'd be a great card. It's really kind of I don't know what I would see out of a Darius card, uh, Darius guy's card, but I would love to find out. Yeah, he's a rumbling, rumbling back, right? I mean, yeah, it'd be interesting. Uh, we gotta wait and see. Gotta wait and see. I think, uh, I think I want a John Riggins card first, though. Maybe Clint <laughs> Portis. Yeah, that would be fantastic. John Riggins. Or Man, you guys. did such a great job with this with this card out there, director. Thank honestly, you, thank you, sir. honestly, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I think we got I one. Is this, is this the last one? We have one more after this. Now this one I made for Trevor Monkey. Trevor Monkey, hey, Merry Christmas, Trevor Monkey. I made you a card. I hope you like it. I hope you like it. Well, Charles well, Woodson. There was one famous game in the snow up there in Foxborough at the at the at the Pats game, the Tuck Rule game. Um, dude, we are overdue. I tell you what, man, we've got we've got. Nitrain Lane, we have the holy trinity of dicks right now. We have Nitrain Lane, <laughs> Dick Nitrain Lane, okay? We got Dick Buckus, okay? We got Dick LeBeau, all right? How about a little Woody? Just need a little <laughs> Woody in there. I think there's enough There's enough seats at the table with all the dicks and the Woodies as well. I think we can get them in there. No pun intended. Get your mind out of the gutter, okay? All right, it would be great to get a Woody upgrade. It really, the really would. Coming back, Trump That's all I have to say about that. Yeah, that's a. I I would be tremendously happy with a, a Charles Woodson card too, especially Charles Woodson, Rod Woodson. You know, saying that I would, I would, I'd, I'd be pretty happy. I'd be pretty happy. Uh, I think this is the last card right here. Derek Brooks, right outside Ooh! linebacker from the Bucks. Bad um, bad everyone, bad yeah, everyone was quick to forget Derek Brooks because he was one of the first legends to come out this season. Guys, when Derek Brooks has a really nice card, one of the high caliber top end cards in the game, he's literally the best outside linebacker. Yeah. In yeah. in four three that you can purchase. Okay, and, I know and he's, he's short, been, and I know yeah, his, but, his speed isn't always great, but he is definitely one of the leanest, meanest four three outside linebackers. Dude, his cards play amazingly well, uh, even in the pass rush, man. Like I gotta tell you, like like uh, uh, if if there is a Derek Brooks upgrade, um, LT's days may be numbered on my squad. You never know. I mean, I've made a huge investment in LT, though, so we'll go to wait and see. Well, LT for me would be starting at right end and then Derek Brooks, an outside linebacker at starter. So I, I like well. it. I like it. I think I would be very happy to see uh, Derek Brooks come back. We're just going to just gonna end it right here on Lamar Jackson because uh, oh! the director really wants to see this card make it into the game, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Trump and Monkey, I think that's going to do it for today's show. Uh, yeah. A lot to speculate on. Do you have any thoughts you want to leave the community well, with as far as some, the state we're in? we got some solos and some gifts coming, okay? So get excited for that. Some solos and some gifts are coming. I think that would be a good time to clip in Macaulay Coke and go, yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Because uh, hopefully um, those gifts are really awesome. And that's a great point to make, Trump. My guys, gifts are coming, okay? It's already been confirmed if you guys haven't experienced gifts in Madden Ultimate Team yet, it is a good time. I think Gut Fox once said, it, all it is is delayed packs, but they're awesome. <laughs> because it is awesome. <laughs> it's fun speculating. You get little hints on the wrapping paper, and it makes a good time. So I think that'll do it for us today, Trump Monkey. Guys, stay optimistic. I know the, the beginning of the promo, I wasn't very happy with it either. But there is so much more to come. Maybe oh don't God. spend your snow right away. I would hold on to it. If, yes. you're, not, if you're not super dedicated yes. to one of the new cards, hold on to the snow. Accumulate as much as you can and uh, get ready for what's to come. Even as soon as this morning, guys, you guys watching it right now, you're probably like, Director Junior Seau got a card and you didn't put it in Mud Force. <laughs> we didn't know. I didn't know. But I'd be super excited and I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past him, man. They said it's going to be a really good promo as I like completely destroy my mic. And... Uh, cool. Pull yeah. it up right. Pull and stop breaking your mic and and put the uh, put the screen up there on the calendar, director. Let's finish on the calendar with a message of positivity, boys and girls. On Saturday the eighth, on Monday the tenth, Wednesday the twelfth. That's right, director. And on Friday the fourteenth, guys, we got we got an amazing week coming. We really, really do. And I guarantee you're gonna love this promo by Friday of next week. And we're only gonna be halfway through. It's only gonna be just beginning. Trouble Monkey hyped. with Insider Not Insider Info, guys. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode of Mud Force. Guys, stay positive, stay excited, stay Bumblebee Jersey with the Raiders uh, co over top. This has been the director and the Trumpet Monkey. Bye. And as always, a very special day, Frosty. Last time.
last chance, fourth and long, finding the will to bolt up, bundle up cause you know we stay frosty, I take my frosty chocolate vanilla or swirl, mutt master YouTuber, come on let's give it a whirl, mutt mad and twitch streamer, put the snowman to shame, staying frosty's the only way we stay alive in this game, they're reffing the match, directors directing the game, scared of my underdog team, you know them gods will be slain,